Okay, let's have a look at uh, oxidation numbers. Okay, so here we have a definition of the oxidation number or sometimes called the oxidation state. It tells you how many electrons have been lost or gained by an element in a compound. Okay, now here's a list of rules for determining oxidation states. Don't worry too much about these rules. Um, I mean memorizing them. They'll be uh, more useful when we start doing examples. Okay, so let's start with number one. Three elements are assigned an oxidation state of zero. So things like Cu met uh, copper as a solid, Fe as a solid, things like chlorine gas or uh, bromine, for example. These are elements, so they're assigned an oxidation state of zero. Number two, the sum of the oxidation states of all the atoms in a compound must be equal to the net charge on the compound. Now when we do more examples this will become clear. Okay? The alkali earth met the alkali metals, sorry, number three, the alkali metals in compounds are always assigned an oxidation state of plus one. Fluorine is negative one. The alkaline earth metals, plus two. Hydrogen is usually plus one, except in something like uh, NaH, in which it's negative one. Number seven, oxygen in compounds is assigned an oxidation state of negative two, except when it's in, for example, hydrogen peroxide, when it's negative one. And the halogens, chlorine, uh, etc., are negative one. Okay? Now, let's move on to an example. So, assign the oxidation number in, uh, to S in H2SO4. Now, what do you know? Go back to the rules, okay? And we know that the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2 and the oxidation number of H is plus 1. So here we have H2SO4. Now we know that the oxygen is negative 2 and we also know there's 4 of them so we multiply by 4 to give us negative 8. And then we also know the hydrogen is uh, plus 1 and we have two of them which gives us plus 2. Now if we draw a scale like this, this is positive going up and negative going down and I'm going to go all the way down to negative 8. So look, we have Negative 2 times 4 gives us negative 8. I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we have to come up 2 because we've got two hydrogens and each hydrogen is plus 1. So we go up 2. Now where does that leave us? We are here. We're at negative 6. Now H2SO4 is neutral. There's no charge. There's no positive, there's no negative charge. So we want to get back to zero. We want to get back to here. So to get back to here, we have to go up six. Okay, so that means that the oxidation number of the S, the sulfur there, is plus six. Okay, so basically, you want to make all these uh, numbers here equal to zero. Okay, so if you add these and the eight positives cancel out the eight negatives to give you zero. Okay, because H2SO4 is a neutral uh, compound. Let's try another example. Assign the oxidation number to S in SO2. Now I know we've just said that S is plus six, but it's plus six in H2SO4. Okay, so what is it in SO2? So 
we know that oxygen has an oxidation state of negative 2 and there's two of them so that gives us negative 4 now there's no charge it's neutral it's a neutral molecule there's no charge on it so we want to get back to 0 and the only way to get back to 0 is to make that plus 4 so the oxidation number of the S in SO2 is plus 4 okay let's try one more example and this example is in the study guide CH4 methane what is the oxidation state of the carbon well what do we know we know that the hydrogen has an oxidation state of plus one and there's four of them gives you plus four again it's a neutral molecule there's no charge so it must be negative four to get back to zero okay